So first custom ROM in this list as expectedly, it's a Pixel OS. Many users love this custom ROM on their devices. And right now, while making this video, the latest update based on Android 16 is here. Although it took a lot of time and we are not getting QPR1 in this case, at least while making this video, as I just told you, it does not have the QPR1 update, but it's still quite minimal. It's available unofficially for many devices actually and officially only for the few devices. It might be getting updated soon if your device did not have that as it is quite minimal, quite simple custom ROM. So as expectedly, it has pixel launcher. It has a lot of pixel goodies, the quick settings panel, the latest one which you get with Android 16 stable version, not that material expressive UI, which you are getting, which we are getting with QPR 1 or QPR 2. Same goes with some other things. For example, if you click on this, like circle to search, it's available. You get circle to search. You can use it on a device in case you want to. Alongside these pixel specific or kind of amazing stable custom ROM or simple minimal custom ROM features, we are getting almost everything in this case, the volume panel and so on. So for the users who are looking forward to a minimal custom ROM experience, Pixel OS might be one of the options which you can consider. Also, even the settings UI is quite simple and quite minimal because it is not having any customizations or features, only a few tweaks here and there, and you are good to go. As I just told you, it's available unofficially for many devices, so make sure to check it out. And if it is not available, unfortunately, you can move on to the second custom room in this list, which, which we are going to talk about is Graphene OS. Unfortunately, it's obviously not available for other devices except Google Pixel devices. So if you're a Google Pixel device user and looking forward to a custom ROM that brings you a better UI, better stability, but you don't need Google for that. For example, we already have the option for option to choose Lineage OS. So you can use that if you are any other device user, you can try out Lineage OS. I have not included Lineage OS in this list because that's available for wide range of devices. Graphene OS is one of the custom ROMs. It's only available for Google Pixel devices, but that also has bootloader lock support. This does have the support for Google Play services. You have the App Store available, so you can install those Google Play services in sandbox environment. There's a difference between Graphene OS and Lineage OS in some scenarios. Graphene OS is more secure. It has a lot of extra tweaks, a lot of extra features in the terms of security, obviously and a lot more extra things. You can adjust a lot of things. It also has a very amazing feature named as storage scopes. You can enable this feature and for more privacy kind of things, this is a very useful thing. Alongside all these features and customizations, which we are getting with Graphene OS, it's only available for Google Pixel devices, unfortunately. Maybe for the devices in future, for now, I guess it is not possible, at least for now. Uh, but as I just told you, if you are using any other device, you can definitely try out Lineage OS. If you're looking forward to a minimal custom ROM, stable custom ROM experience, Lineage OS is already here for you. The latest Android 16, 15, etc. based custom ROMs have the private space support, so you can use it on the devices, on your devices. It's kind of similar. Last but not the least, this one is the latest one, which is available officially and unofficially for many devices. And I'm talking about the Clover project. And right now, while making this video, it's based on QPR1 also. QPR2 is also here, so not so sure if we are getting QPR2 based custom rooms anytime soon. At least QPR1 for now, maybe many users, many custom rooms, many custom ROM developers will go for QPR1 at least for now. Pixel launcher pre-installed in this case. Blur has been enabled because it is based on the latest Android 16 QPR1, which has material expressive UI. Same goes with the quick settings panel. If you're able to notice the blur behind quick settings panel also has the option to customize these tiles. You can resize them, you can reposition them and so on. By default, it was not possible till Android 16 stable version. But this is now Android 16 QPR1 update. Right now, while making this video, Clover project has the update officially rolled out for me 11x and i guess two three or more devices and obviously for some other devices very soon the new status bar icons also enabled and many more things which you can go and explore so these were the custom rooms just wanted to let you know these are not the only ones which are quite stable or basically quite minimal if you need more custom room videos i have a lot of available on my channel so make sure to give it a try this is it thanks for watching hope you like this video we'll see you in the next one take care